Hello neighbors, it's Brad here at eTrailer and today we're taking a look at the Demco Coach Kit for the Air Force One braking system on 2022 Freightliner XC chassis. If you have a flat towed vehicle with the Air Force One already installed and you've upgraded your coach to another air brake coach and you don't have the air fitting already on there, not to worry, you don't have to buy a whole kit, you can simply get the RV side and that's where it really comes into play to where you can tie it in, have your fitting and still be able to hook up to your vehicle and be on the road in no time. Now, as far as getting your tank and uh, all your airlines set up on your RV, the first thing that I do is mount up your fitting. And you're gonna see this is a, uh, this is a female adapter, should have the larger cap on it, so make sure you have that proper one. And I just went ahead, drilled some holes here, and then used the washers and the hardware included to get that mounted up. Now, we're gonna just take that airline, the quarter inch that we have, put it in our push connect fitting, and start routing it up uh, towards where we're gonna tie into our supplied and metered air. Now running our airline up, main thing is follow along the frame rail. You're gonna wanna stay away from anything hot or potential that could cause damage and also chafing something that you're gonna wanna keep an eye on. So if there's any sharp corners, just make sure that that airline's not gonna rub against it long term. So I've just gone ahead, followed my frame rail, and along the way I threw a few zip ties up on some of the factory wire loom just to kind of keep it secure. And it is kind of tucked up here and then I made my way back. Now on our Freightliner, we do have our tank that we're gonna mount up and I was able to mount it right here. I flipped my bracket and it, there was a small arm here that had this sensor attached to it. So I was able to use that uh, to mount it up. It's a little bit tight as far as clearance, but it's pretty solid. And from here, we're gonna see that we have three fittings that we're gonna be attaching to. This is gonna be our supply side. This is where our metered air is gonna go in. And then this, this uh, 90 degree is where that line goes back to our fitting. So let's take a look at each of these. On our supplied air, we have our quarter inch line that runs up and that's gonna go all the way up to this large diameter green hose. So make sure it's the larger one. And that's where our T is gonna tie in. Use a tubing cutter. It's gonna make it a lot easier to cut into that. And that line is pretty rigid. It's a little bit tricky uh, to get any movement. So you wanna make sure that your cut's perfect enough to where you can get that fitting in. Um, if you're a little bit short, it's gonna be tricky. So just take your time on that. And also, once you cut it, you're gonna want to take a little bit of brake cleaner, kind of wipe those down. That's gonna give it a nice clean surface. That way you don't have any dust, dirt, kind of building up in that push connect fitting, which can cause leaks. So that's your supply. That one, as I mentioned, put that T in. And this metered air line, these are again push connect fittings, so make sure they're all properly seated. Push them down, make sure they bite in. Um, and this kind of routes up. You'll see a, uh, a black hose right here. Uh, it's a little bit larger diameter. It looks to be about a 3 8 um, From there, we cut and put our T. And this is gonna be the smaller diameter T in line, so very similar to that supplied air. Uh, do the same technique as far as using the tubing cutter and clean that off. And then you can route this line down to the meter air. And then once you've routed your line that goes to the back fitting, that's gonna tie in here. So with all those connections made, make sure your tank is obviously tightened down. Um, from there, you can go ahead, start your RV, get air pressure built up. And then once you have the pressure built, you can shut it off and spray everything down. Any connection that you've made, you're gonna to want to use a soapy water solution. And that's really gonna show if there's any small leaks. If you hear air hissing, that's a pretty solid sign that you have a leak, obviously. So your best bet is to take the push connect fitting, try to reseat it and see if that fixes it. But using that soapy water, you're gonna get large bubbles filling up uh, or forming around the fitting if you do have air leaks. Now luckily we didn't have any on ours, so at this point we can get our RV down on the ground. We're gonna hook up our air cable to our towed vehicle. And that was a look at installation of the Demco coach kit for the Air Force One braking system on a 2022 Freightliner XC chassis.